Oh my goodness. Hi everybody. Caffeine Fox here and it's been a really long time since I've had a video come out. Now when I say long time, I mean like it's been a long time. I've been like super busy getting my remaining certifications done and writing out my resume. I've just been like super hammered with trying to have any free time at all. <laughs> yes! Let's get right into today's video and with that I'm gonna give a good old clap transition. Yeah! It, it's supposed to transition. So a while back, when I say a while back, I mean May 15th, I tweeted out who would win in a fight you or your fursona. A lot of people think of furries as being cute and cuddly and ooh -woo, but there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. If it was you and your fursona in a pit match to the death, who would win? I'm gonna give my opinion on whether or not I would win after I get through some of the submissions. So I'm really excited to see what all of you have submitted. Who would come out on top? Who would have that Rocky Balboa moment when you emerge from the ring victorious? White Star says, my persona hands down as it would take just being at the wrong end of his antlers. And then the next thing you know, there is some new holes in my body. Look, I feel like this is a very big thing to watch out for, especially if you're fighting a deer Sona or if your persona happens to be like a caribou or in White Star's case, just having antlers. You're not prepared for that. It's just a weapon attached to your persona. Like I have teeth and I have claws, but when you have straight up broadswords attached to your head, you can't even roll for initiative. You're just done at that point. Das Flitter says, I would beat that idiot. I mean, Flitter has hypno eyes, so maybe Flitter against their Sona is just like, hey, you know, I'm immune to that. You just wear sunglasses and it reflects it back at your persona. Hypnosis, more like hip no sis. Taco Fan says, bruh, I'm getting bodied by my Sona, but we're teaming up to slam you and yours. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's just so much aggression in this Sona. I don't even think any amount of montages is going to prepare me for how to tackle this issue. It looks like I'm going to get bodied. Kaden Kayuga says, my Sona would win, then buy me breakfast, then he'd beat me for eating eggs. That's like a double smackdown. You feel like you were about to go and beat your Sona, your Sona wins, and then just just to kind of lure you into a false sense of security, offers you breakfast, then beats you up again. That's just like too much for me to handle. Matsy Kuhn says, all three of them, okay, multiple personas now. This is gonna be like a West Side Story kind of fight. All three of them would kill me instantly. L-M-F-A-O. Only Kamigo might show some mercy, I think. I like it how Matsy says, I think at the end of it. You're not entirely sure if mercy is going to be given. And that's even more frightening than just getting into a fight with your persona. Best of luck, Matsy. You can do it. Nicholas Cage says, we are the same. At that point, you just have to battle your demons inside. You cannot let them win. Zulu says, we would fight, but only by making increasingly passive aggressive gestures to each other until one of us cries. It's a 50-50 match. Look, that's, that's fair. You do not know who's going to win in this case, but like how that fight even starts or progresses, somebody just says something sarcastic towards the other person, and eventually it just turns into like slap fight. You're just kind of like, stop it, stop. That was my fighting style. Matthew the German Shepherd says, my persona is a German Shepherd, so his bite will be strong. He could probably maul me to death in a minute. Look, my spouse is a German Shepherd. I understand the risks. He got them big old meaty chompers. Fair enough. Kateo CT says, we're even odds, but both of our egos will argue each other's downfall. It's almost like when you have that moment when the villain is making the final speech, like that one speech that just goes on and on. And by the time they're done with the speech, the hero already has like what they need to stop them. What would happen if both people were just villains doing a monologue? Nobody wins. Bluebell the Full says, Bluebell, no chance of in real life me winning. Bluebell is a Jedi, plus he has all of Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man abilities. So yeah, I'd be instantly defeated. Okay, fighting a Jedi alone would be pretty much impossible, unless you're like a Sith furry. 
But having Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man abilities, that's just unfair at that point. Look, I don't blame you. I would probably lose to that Sona too. Omega says, I would 100% die. Omega has the ability to create, manipulate, and destroy volatile solar plasma. Like, hold up. My my fox brain does not compute. This is all that fancy protogen talk. I don't understand that very well. I'm just a cashier, man. I ain't got no skills. I'm deader than dead and cremated. One cashier versus a volatile solar plasma manipulator. Who will win? Lurch says, his face is a sword. Toe talons are razors. His wingies are like steel. His hair is incredible. I have made him too powerful. The fact you have magnificent hair, like there's just no chance. There's no chance at all. I'm sorry, Lurch. Midnight says, well, my persona is canonically a mythical spirit that only resides in the dreams of those who believe in him. So he'd literally be able to break my mind if he really wanted to. It's almost like Nightmare on Elm Street, but furry edition. But honestly, as long as you don't believe in your Sona, like would he exist at that point? Whoa. J Fox says, my persona would have downed me in Mountain Dew. Out of all the ways to lose a fight, being downed in Mountain Dew does not sound bad. Being caffeine, I wouldn't mind Mountain Dew. Honestly, if I was in a cage match against myself, I would lose like in a heartbeat. I try and go to the gym and eat right and bulk up and all that great stuff. But my persona is kind of short. And with all of that caffeine, I would be almost impossible to pin down. I, I can't compete with that. But yeah, <laughs> thank you everybody for joining me on today's uh, first video after like a bazillion and a half years. It's really been that long. If any of you like this content, you know, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, consider uh, balling your paw into a fist and smashing that subscribe and bell button. Oh my goodness. After this video is done, I'm pretty much going to sit down and continue to study. <laughs> I'm so busy, but Anthrocon's coming up. So if any of you happen to be going there, uh, I'll be sure to say hi. Well, I'll try to, it's a big con. So yeah, just look for the really wiry small fox that is probably bouncing around everywhere. And that's probably me, but yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of your week and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye. I'd like to give a huge thank you to the following gold egg patrons. Blueberry, Keys, Chase Husky, Ashira Pony, Moodle, D.H., Apollo Bunny, Dynamo, Emerith Cantonine, and Cinderkin. And a huge thank you to all of my other supporters as well. If any of you want to consider becoming a patron, check me out in the link down below. Oh my goodness, thank you.